you might notice I have an excessive bias towards successful people drawn from Europe, America, and occasionally Asia. Uh, quite naturally, I do um, omit uh, uh, scenes from Kenya, for, for instance. But yesterday, I managed to fortuitously, and by fortuitously, I mean accidentally, I managed to chance on this uh, very budding uh, businessman, as I would uh, say, uh, by trades, as you can see, what he's trying to brand on the table of the, I think this is a TV program. You can see there that he has a toy car, which I think is a hammer. <coughs> popularized by a local Kenyan politician, uh, Honorable Ryle Odinga. But that's not really the story here. The story here is when I happen to listen to this gentleman, I notice that some of the things I always keep saying to audiences I address through these social media platforms, that the language you express yourself with, especially in these types of interviews or in any other audience which may be some strictness of uh, language is required, e.g., say a speech um, or a talk show, any other of these um, arrangements, conferences, for instance, workshops, you notice that language is actually key in, you can assess, <coughs> um, sorry, the level of success of individuals going by the level of language they use, and not just the level, including even the flow. For this gentleman who calls himself Caliph, Cairo, whom I noticed from his uh, own explanation, or attestation for that matter, that he's at, he's, he sometimes trends on Twitter when he's doing his digital marketing for his car sales. Like I've told you, I think he's a car salesman. I think he's now opened up his own uh, company. After doing stints as a salesman for various franchises, Actually, the word various here would be not a misnomer because I think he's only worked for two franchises. Um, a franchise is an outfit, a business outfit in which you're selling or your, yeah, your, your company or your business, small business or medium business has been appointed by a larger uh, company, parent company, as you might say, for you to use their brand name in your business with all the required uh, parent, parent company um, mm -hmm. controls, designs of office spaces, um, showrooms for if it's to a cars for this matter, and uh, any other thing about the business which is, is supposed to be its, um, what do you call it, its anchoring or its advantage or its competitive edge against its competitors. Let me give one example. For instance, Walmart in the United States is a leading, a leading retail supermarket. So it might decide to come up with a plan in Kenya. So a local business might decide to be franchised by Walmart. So what happens in the United States in terms of the building style, the office arrangements, the Walmart in this case, the supermarket arrangement, the L's, and any other kind of uh, you know, arrangement uh, in terms of maybe the, uh, what do you call it, selling points of that company, you have to abide by that. So that is franchising. So I think for this gentleman, he has worked for two franchise, franchises by his own attestation. And uh, therefore, um, from there he gained a lot of experience because I think he worked for roughly about four years in, this, in, the, in the industry there and then move now to start up, start up his own company. So if you listen to this gentleman in this interview, you notice that he has done a lot with his language. He has done a lot with his ideas. You must have the ideas to be used when you're expressing the language. And that's the first step, actually. You must read widely. You must listen to several uh, people before that comes to happen. For him, I think it has, it, has, it has come to happen quite early because I imagine he's about probably in either late 20s or early 30s, going by his own stories of you know, how he went to school, the timelines, you know, what I'm using here. So let's drift away uh, slightly from Europe, America, and Asia, 
And let's come close now down to a successful Kenyan entrepreneur who is on the car sales business, who is traveling widely to places like Japan to source his uh, cars for sale locally. And we'll take you through the ropes of the processes.